uh, cup halves together. Fuselage half together, should I say. The cup it's in there. It's a bit of cool. Two halves went together very well. Um, very little uh, sending needed to be done on these. Just a little bit underneath. Just a couple of little gaps. Filled in with some uh, sprue glue. Nice and old. Tammy thin. Some sprues dissolved in it. Tap it on, leave it for uh, as long as you can, really. I did this yesterday. And I'll file it off in a minute too. And that should be all done. And done the uh, things at the back. I can't find the name. <laughs> Control services. There we go. So he's got a little hinge in there with little uh, little bar, some little PE brackets on there, and the same with the uh, tap in there. So they fit on very very well. So they clip together inside, and they have very little. Just glue on the the, uh, the join. Fits in very smoothly. That's where we are with the uh, main body so far. And the wings. Just take them off and clean them up a bit. So just a little bit needs painting up and copy green and aluminium at the back. And then the uh, wheel wells. before I put it on I think. And the rest of the wheel wells on there. There's a little screw, a little nut buried in there. So that'll uh, support the landing gear. And that's fitted on as well. So, the top surface of the wings, so they've got a couple of options for this part. Depends which one you're doing. So, I'm doing A, which is um, so UK based option. So, I'll have to put that on there. And the same with this section. Uh, this is quite a few little bits you can uh, put on the engines. And again, same with the uh, other side. Fit these two panels in. Before I glue them together. Okay, so we'll leave, leave it there. I'll do a bit of priming and painting, and then we'll come back and uh, do a bit more assembly on the uh, the wing before we put it all together. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're continuing on with the uh, wings. So for the wheel bay covers on. And I strut across the front there. As you can see I've painted this part's dark aluminium. These will be painted the same colour as the underneath on those. So what I do is just fill that up with something and then spray that up as, as and when. Um, it's big air intakes. I've sort of been painting whether to leave them off while I paint it so I can put two sort of vent parts in there which are painted um, it's metallic grey X56 on there and then putting those on after or putting them on once I've painted those but I think I'll leave them off and put them on after they've uh, built that bit up on there so I'll just have to think about that so now we've just got little parts of the wing to put in just spray that black so uh, through the uh, two holes here you can't see uh, the grey and we've got 
uh, drill services with their uh, Effect on that, so they'll fit into the wing and the wing tips. So just letting those dry off a bit before we can do any more construction, and uh, I'll come back once it's uh, looking more like a set of wings. The other thing as well, it does say in the instructions to paint this part copper green, but if uh, Put it together and you can't actually see down, so I just left it the, uh, the aluminium colour. So you can see back here, but not this bit. Okay, let's so leave that bit here, and I'll see in a couple of minutes. Well, it's all coming along uh, well now. Got the uh, wings finished, Got all the panels put in, control surfaces, tips, and underneath. On there and the vent there. A slight accident, there was a little sticky up thing there. I knew what if I stuck it on there or break it off, and I have done. So, let's see if you can remember to manufacture something there. And fix it on. It's the fuselage. It's a good tummy. It's all going to get them very, very well. So, hardly any fling or filing to do. Usual thing with planes, this bit needs a little bit of attention, so I'll come back to that. Okay. Got a big bird when it's finished. Anyway, tidy up the edges and things, and we'll come back and have another look in a minute too. Cheers. This is where we're up to. Um, messed up the canopy because there's a bit of an overlap here. I've painted underneath the frame there, so if that'll be like alright. So when it's temporary stuck this on, so it'll come off later, so I can uh, see how that goes. What else I've done? See, so, Tadville was trying to fit. That's a bit better. The wheels in, so when I do the underside, compare that at the same time, and this is going to be the, side, the underneath colour as well. Then I'll put the wheels in later. And uh, again, I'll paint these with the air and takes off so I can put the uh, radiators, I assume they are, into there. And we use over the top. And it's finished. What else have I done? Yeah. I'll try this, because these are going to be uh, some of that side. Let's transfer these uh, in red, I thought I'd paint them instead, so that looks when, the, uh, when it's all together. So I'm ready to do prime this part. I think what I'll do is do it in black primer rather than doing a light colour and then doing the panel lines. I'll try that method, see how that works out. Okay. Let's see what else I've done. So I've made up the uh, propellers. So that's Tommy Sky, semi gloss, and just yellow at the end. There are some uh, decals for these in the kit, uh, but what I did instead is spray the ends yellow, front and back, then mask them off and paint the rest of the uh, the prop. And even though you can't see it in there, I've painted the uh, the centre part dark aluminium. At least I know it's there anyway. So that's ready for uh, decaling and weathering when we get around to that. So what I'll do, we'll leave that part there. Um, so you've got the prop done and I'm going to be priming and painting the, uh, the main body of the plane. 
so that'll come back in the uh, the next part. Remember which I can't just remember off the top of the head. Could be four. Okay, I'll see you then. <laughs>